At insuremyride.com.au, we know what it's like on the bike. So our bike insurance is only for bike riders. Whatever you ride, road, off-road and even scooter. Don't get ripped off. Insure your ride online and save 25%. G'day, I'm Guy Allen and welcome to Motorcycle TV. Today we're playing with this lovely thing, a Triumph T160 Trident from 1975. Now this was Triumph's entry into the superbike wars. It in fact was first developed around the mid 60s and was first shown around 67, 68. The first production bikes came out literally four weeks before Honda's CB74, which effectively changed the whole big motorcycle game across the world. And that particular bike, that Honda, effectively had a huge part in Triumph's own downfall. What about this bike? Well, this bike was the last hurrah of the Trident. It was a very final version, significantly different to its forebears. While the motor was pretty much the same, it used the slant forward version of the engine, which was actually used in the BSA Rocket 3s. And the way these things were built were the engines were made in the old BSA factory at Small Heath, and the chassis and the final assembly was done at Triumph in Meriden. The power plant is air-cooled two valves per cylinder, pushrod actuation, believe it or not, and three sets of points, so tuning can be a bit of a handful. However, you can get a modern, pointless electronic ignition for them these days. Three ammo carbs are feeding the bike. The actual architecture is pretty well standard, but where the T160 differs significantly from its T150 predecessor is you've got a left-hand gear change, which was dictated by the American market. The American market would no longer accept right-hand gear change bikes. They've actually gone for this nice big tank, but it follows those traditional flowing Triumph lines. Though it looks like it has a wet clutch, it does in fact run a single plate dry clutch, so almost a car style clutch. This bike was imported from America and it had the typical American bars, those cruiser style, those high rise bars. To me, it looks terrible on this motorcycle, so we've taken it back to the flat English handlebars, a much more traditional look for this motorcycle. The brakes are very 70s brakes. They're by Lockheed, single disc at each end, and they're okay in the dry, they're nothing to ride home about. Um, in the wet, they're diabolical. You've actually got to dry those discs out to actually get them working in the rain. How was it accepted? Well, this final bike, they built 7,000 of them, believe it or not. Now, there's nothing like that running around anymore. Most of them have gone to the tip or who knows where, wherever it is, old Triumphs end up. As a bike to ride, it's, well, look, it's nearly a 40-year-old motorcycle. So by current standards, it's not a super bike. In its day, it was a very acceptable thing. When they first launched in the late 60s, they actually set quite a few race and speed records. They were very successful. It's got about 58 horsepower. It's pretty heavy. It's well over 200 kilos, probably pushing close to 240, 250. So it's no absolute rocket ship by current standards. By classic bike standards, it's actually smooth, surprisingly civilized. There's a fair bit of vibration through the foot pegs. But but other than that, it's not a bad ride. As a bike to live with as a classic bike, this is my second uh, Trident. My previous one was a T150V, the predecessor to this bike. They've got enough performance to get along the highway at a decent speed. They're a bit of fun to ride. This one actually, the early indications are it's handling nicely and that's in part, I've changed the front tyre size. Standard these bikes had a 410 tyre, front and rear. We've actually gone for a slightly narrower tyre on the front, a 360, which is a bit more in proportion and the sort of thing you'd expect in a modern motorcycle. The tyres are ret retro tyres, they're Dunlop TT100s. They're actually a replica of the tyre that first came out on this bike, so that's a nice thing to be able to get your hands on. These bikes aren't getting any cheaper, I have to say, and we're actually seeing prices rise fairly significantly. I suspect they've still got a way to go. So if you're in the market for a classic bike, you want something with a bit of performance, you don't mind something that's a little bit heavy, um, this range of bikes, those Tridents, are certainly worth a look. Look for a full story in Motorcycle Trader magazine.